What does triggered mean to both of you for the meaning of the film? To be triggered means to be uh, prepared for everything and anything. It depends on what's going on around you. And for me, as a person with the disability, it means to accommodate to something urgent. Rock. The concept of triggered, it uh, really has to do with what happens when you get pushed to the edge. Um, in this film, there's a different meaning, but I'm not giving that away. So I'm going to be a little bit more uh, <laughs> obtuse with my answer, be more personal. Um, so, but, you know, I know uh, triggered is a popular word right now. Um, when, you, when you're talking about someone getting triggered, it means that they basically get set off. Um, so it has kind of a double meaning in this film. Um, the other meaning, you're going to have to wait to see what it means. I have uh, one more question for you both. So as we see on television and film, it looks like we are kind of in a change in a moment of more diversity in both areas. Do you think that we have a long way to go still, or are we in a place where like, it's starting to, you're starting to see the benefits of, of the change in TV and film? Let's start with you. I'll say it like this. There's a big reason why Black Panther's first premiere was such a big deal and why Wakanda Forever is also such a big deal. Um, currently, you just had Black Adam, and now you ha have Wakanda Forever coming out, so it kind of feels like things have gotten better, but it's kind of a timing thing. Um, we still got a long way to go, uh, and part of the reason why I'm doing this is to celebrate diversity, to showcase diversity, and to make sure that we continue to move in that right positive direction. I believe in the last fi five years, we made it incredible incredible uh, improvement in portrayal and inclusion, especially people with disabilities. But Ryan Coogler and the way Johnson, there are superheroes in all of us, whether you're black, white, to have a disability, or purple, we're here, and we want to work. Well, thank you both. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing the film again. Thank you. Nice. Our preparation, um, like Marcus said, took about a year to do, um, just to get everyone scheduled, aligned. We were doing virtual and Zoom meetings just to get our lines down and right. Um, and then financially, I would say that working on a project like this, and you have to give it your all. Um, you come out financially with nothing left, and I think that comes with the emotions that are involved, and that's okay, because you have to pour everything in to, for, to see it tenfold. Um, and I feel like such is life. You have to give everything you have so that you know you did the best that you could. Um, so yeah. It's just a room. How did I get my powers back? Where'd the guy in my head go? Nah, man, he's on the PA system. We have to go now. Hopefully, um, if you guys want to contribute to the Indiegogo part two, and we can get some girl fight action right. going. Girl fight. Fight. So if you want to see us fight, right. you got to Support. go to the Indiegogo. Ready, Bob. Get up to the space station. Um, but just preparation. I mean, you know, this is something you know that, like everyone has said, general consensus uh, over a year in the making, uh, just from. You know, uh, personal uh, conflicts, uh, professional conflicts, timing, and eventually, you know, we were able to bring it all together. Um, and then also personally, just, uh, you know, physically, you know, it definitely was uh, physically taxing. Like Marcus had mentioned earlier, uh, he had prefaced all this by saying, you know, the shoot, even though it took over a year, but the shoot itself took about 20, a little over 20 hours. Enjoy the show. We're about to get rescued by a couple of superheroes. Yes, you are. You're gonna need to upgrade your battle gear. I was really actually grateful that it ended up working out as it did. That also led to us getting use of that studio set. Um, and like I mentioned, it was a very it was a long taxing shoot. This entire project that you just saw um, was kind of a, a, a second 
run, I have a totally different script that turns into our sequel, which is the much bigger uh, film that actually involves all our characters actually getting into our physical battles with each other. So this was a taste, this was a tease, this was designed um, just to, to let you all decide that, hey, these, I wanna see what happens from here. Marcus was just talking about is absolutely true and it was an honor to be able to donate time and a privilege for this kind of project because as he said, I've watched over the last year him struggle and succeed in finding places to locations, script things, cast, everything, and just watching someone who is truly passionate about what they're doing and not just for the money or just for the fame of it, but because this is what you want to do. How do I know I can trust you?